show. Let them That's right. Welcome in. Welcome back. Oh my God. It feels so good to do this. Welcome back to an actual Notre Dame game. Keys of the game. There's actually a, a game this week. Edition of the Always Irish Show. Oh, I'm excited to be here. This is fantastic. As always, you can find the program on YouTube. Do it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up. That helps Johnny out as well. Notifications on that way. You alert it every time a new episode drops. I know you don't want to miss it, especially now that the season's going. Twitter. Search bar. Always Irish rat. Always Irish Shake emails, always Irish at gmail.com. Audio only, anywhere you want it, you can get it. The Cowlin lines, ooh, they're going to be popping from now on. 312 15 You tell Johnny all you've heard and seen. Fighting Irish Wire, we got game week covered. Every day you wake up. I want some Notre Dame in my life. You tune into Always Irish, and then you type in Fighting Irish Wire on the Googles. Notre Dame information comes out. You read all about it. It's beautiful. All right. Finally, you guys, finally we're here. It is exciting. I love it. The call-in show Monday morning was stupendous. All these names for people that, that are gone after the last game, and then they all show back up. People are in a mood to give their opinion and get all worked up. It's beautiful. I just love everything about it. Love everything about it, okay? So, this is going to be very direct. I don't want to overthink it. I don't want to overdo it. This show is just about the keys of the game. What Notre Dame has to do to beat Navy. Now, as we get into this, this is something I brought up on a call-in show as well. The first game is the first game. It always gets overblown because it's the first game. And there's all this excitement and buildup and anticipation and the waiting and the questions with no answers. First games are always going to get built up to be a bigger deal than they are sometimes. That's dangerous. There's a tipping point here. Building up last year's first game is a lot different than building up this one because it's not Ohio State. It's not Ohio State. So I just want to be careful that we're measuring this out right. It's a big deal the first game, but I'm not giving Navy Ohio State credit. I'm not doing that. They don't deserve that. So I'm trying to find the right balance of, yeah, it's the first game. We don't know what we're going to see. There's a lot to look at, but it's not Ohio State. Okay? So I, I want to walk that line of reverence for Navy and what we need to worry about and not overdoing it. That fly. I can't get rid of that fly. I think he's turning into a bat. I think it's bigger every time I come in his room. Driving me nuts. As I was saying, you, you, <laughs> that's good for, for TV, isn't it? Me chasing a fly around. Things getting bigger by the minute. Turning into a freaking zombie bat. I'm not, a, I can't. I'm not going to do a Lou Holtz and build Navy up the, and have the guys convinced they're going to run all over us. I'm not doing it. So we just got to find a fair balance of what we got to worry about, but also not getting in our own minds about Navy. All right. Let's get into some keys to the game. I want to know if you agree. I want to know if you disagree, if you would have a different list, whatever. Now. As we start this, let's acknowledge some unique circumstances here. Dublin, that's a unique circumstance with the travel accommodations, jet lag, all that. The new Navy coach. It ain't Coach Ken. Maybe this guy's going to get tricky. I don't know. Could blow up on him. Could pull the upset. Who knows? Dublin, new Navy coach. Maybe Navy having two quarterbacks with levitate or levitai. He better not levitate over the Notre Dame offense or defense, I mean. 
and Horvath. You got that. Week one. All of these create variants. Variants makes me nervous. Okay. Week one is always like that. You don't know what you're going to get week one. The old thing of teams improve the most between week one and week two and all that. Week ones are inherently volatile. You're not quite sure what you're going to get. That's interesting in a ball game against a team that wants to shorten the game. That's interesting. You don't have a lot of extra possessions and leeway to be sloppy against Navy when it's game one. Keep that in mind. So I wanted to bring up all those factors as some added week one nuance. Here's number one. Notre Dame's got to get off to a fast start. Navy hates playing from behind. They're not built to play from behind. I know there's word that they may throw it around more this year. Navy hates playing from behind. Navy's not built to play from behind. On the flip side, if you get behind them, it's very uncomfortable to chase Navy due to the lack of possessions and the time issues. All right? It's very important to me. Notre Dame gets that early and establishes control of the ball game. The longer it goes with the issue in doubt, the more that gets risky against Navy because you ain't getting as many possessions. They're going to drain the clock. Okay? I'd accept the ball first if possible. Usually, I am a put your defense out there first guy, not against Navy. Normally, I want the defense out there first because I figure Notre Dame's had pretty good defenses, the strength of the team the last bunch of years. I figure it's easier to ease into a game, generally speaking, with your defense when you can get those first hits out of the way and that anxiety and get get going out there, break a sweat. I think it's easier to do that as a team on defense Because you can kind of react more than making stuff happen to ease into a game. And then I, I, Notre Dame's defenses have been good enough lately. I would think you could get a stop, get us the ball back. And then I like having that extra possession in my pocket coming out of the out. All right. I like that. Um, But against Navy, that's where I think if I have the opportunity, I'd say give us the ball. Even if they don't score, I'm not letting them kill eight minutes of the first quarter and we haven't even touched the ball. No. So against them, I like the idea of getting the ball and we're going to score first and then they're chasing right away. So I I don't know what you guys think about that. Usually I'm a defensive first guy because I just think it's easier to ease into the game on defense than offense. This is different. This is different. So uh, I would take the ball, try and get out of them early if I could. So that's number one. You always got to get out of Navy early. It's a lot easier playing them from ahead than from behind. Number dose. Do the basics well. Again, we speak about week one variants. Sloppy penalties, sloppy play, arm tackles, fumbles, bad timing. You know, we dropped the ball. Less possessions equals less margin for error against Navy. Plus, you add in the week one variants. That week one, weird stuff happens. You don't have your full, you're not all synced up. That your offense shouldn't run as smooth week one as it does week four, or for us, week five. You gotta be, you gotta have it together week one against Navy, man. You don't, you're not gonna have a lot of extra possessions and time to figure it out. So do the basics well. Tackling's a big deal against Navy. You can be where you need to be, all you need to be. And if you don't wrap up, it doesn't do you much good. All that week one variant stuff. Notre Dame's got to keep it to a minimum because of the way this game's played time-wise. Number three, on defense, just do basic option stuff. Know where you're supposed to be. Know your keys, your diagnosis, your recognition, your assignments. Be 
where you got to be. Know your role. Do your job. This is basic stuff. Basic stuff. All right? Know your keys. Know your recognition. Who's spying who? All of that. All of that. I'm not letting Fofana Banana run for 300 yards up the giggy. You can't do that stuff. Okay? So just be solid on the, the defending the option basics. Here's a couple more things within that. Early downs are a big deal. You got to keep Navy uncomfortable. You got to keep them in second and third and long. You can't have these dumb option plays go for six yards on first down. You're screwed. You got to disrupt, penetrate, and make them second and third and long where they don't want to operate from. And fourth and long, because they like to go for it a lot. Make it too long to do it. Okay? So early downs are a big deal defensively. And then this too. Don't fall for no tricks. Don't fall. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to lose my damn mind. I already could see it happening. There's the fly. Let's see if I could get him with my Frank Lay ebook. Let's see. Come on, baby. You don't want this. Come on. Got him. Got him. Frank Lay in the Fighting Irish book killed that fly. Yes. Been chasing it for two days. Thanks, Frank. I'll clean that up later. I'm just glad I got a freaking bat flying around. Uh, anyways, sorry for that distraction, but I did get him. I'm proud of myself. No tricks. No tricks. We're not doing this. We're not playing Navy and they have a new coach and a bunch of little guys and Notre Dame sucked up to the line for the pitch and it's a double pitcher back, double fake, throw it to a midget. And Notre Dame has no guys back there. And it's a 70-yard touchdown. And you're clowning Notre Dame with your little Navy tricks. No. No. I'm, I'm not going to react well to that. I don't even want to see you fall for one trick. You've had all camp to prepare for anything and everything that could happen. Be ready. Be ready. So early downs are a big deal. Get them uncomfortable and no tricks. Number four on offense. Take what you want. This is Navy. You have a massive athletic, speed, physical, size advantage. Every advantage a football team can hope to have physically over another one you have on these guys. If you can't take advantage of that, I don't even know why I bother doing this. On offense, take what you want. And if they adjust, and when they adjust, then you take what they give. I'm going to repeat that. You take what you want, and if they adjust to a large extent, then you take what they give. This should be the easiest game to scheme for offensively all year. Don't tell Tommy that. The boy wonder genius who put up 12 yards of offense and a half last year against Navy. But he's a genius and Saban is anointing him as the next best thing. 12 yards of offense in a whole half against Navy. John, that's not fair for you to judge him. He was working with Drew Pine. Oh yeah, you mean the guy Reese handpicked and wanted? That's his fault, too. Forever thinking Drew Pine could be the starting quarterback in Notre Dame. That's his fault, too. People, you, you, some of you people bug me. Oh, it's so short-sighted. Well, John, you can't judge him for that. He was dealing with Pine. He offered Pine the scholarship. He thought Pine could be Notre Dame's quarterback. That's on him for even thinking a guy that's five foot tall, doesn't have a big arm, and isn't the fastest guy, could be Notre Dame's quarterback. If you're that size, I need Michael Vick's skill set. Okay? So, here's what I mean when I say, take what you want. 
and then take what they give. If if Parker comes out, wants to start throwing it all over, you have the advantage, throw it all over. If you want to lean on Estime early, you could go ahead and do that early. But what I mean by when they adjust, take what they give, it's very simple against Navy. If you're pounding the ball with Estime, they're going to have to bring guys up. Then Hartman, pick your target and burn them. And if they're playing you straight up fair or worried about the pass, then you pound it with Estime in those backs and then that you do it that way. Something's got to give here for Navy defensively. Man to man, straight up, them playing us honest. They're not going to be able to line up and stop our run game. They're not. And if they if they give extra resources to it, Hartman should be able to pick a guy, throw it. And if they're going to back up and defend that, then you pound it. Like, I don't, if Navy doesn't sell out one way or the other, Notre Dame should pick them apart. Should be the easiest game to scheme for all year. Run it if you can run it. And if they give more resources, then you throw it and you actually have a quarterback should be able to do it. Easiest game to scheme for in the year. Okay. Don't tell Tommy. Don't tell Tommy. Okay. So <laughs> that's number four on offense. What I'm most interested to see is the initial game plan. Is Parker going to try and run it and establish that? Does he trust Hartman to open it up early? Are we pretty much in the middle to keep Navy honest and see where they want to sell out? I don't know. The other part of this on offense is if I'm Navy, I'm doing everything I can to confuse those new guards. I know what Notre Dame has in the tackles. I'm trying to confuse the new guards. Coogan Spindler, I'm trying to mess them up, get them all twisted and turned and confused. And I'm stunting and I'm doing this and that. Uh, that's what I'm doing. How's Notre Dame going to handle that? We made a big deal about these guards all off season, And this is what they're going with. There's no body of work from Rudolph in Notre Dame. I don't, you just got to trust them. But you better be good. And that line had no answers last year when Navy went anchors away, pun intended. Notre Dame had no answers. You better have some this year. And the number one answer might be if they're doing an all-out blitz, Hartman's good enough. He's just going to know where the bailout is and dump it over those guys and let them run. You didn't have that ability last year. It, it changes things. So that's number four on offense. Take what you want, and when they adjust, take what they give. You should be able to feast either way. Number five, I want a Notre Dame versus the world attitude. I need a Notre Dame. I want and need a Notre Dame versus the world attitude. I want to see it week one. I want to see these guys running out there with electricity, with some fire, running out there with a purpose. I want their energy in a controlled fashion, unlike my program. I want their emotion to be controlled and contained and directed to the game. But I need to feel that electricity. This camp, the vibe's been lively. It has been really, really good. Like I have seen a, a higher energy level and emotional level from these guys in this camp than I've seen from some other recent ones. I want to see that carry over into the game. Not braggadocious, uh, over-the-top swag. Just an intensity in the way you do your work. I want to see that right away. It's Notre Dame against the world. That's the fans, the players, the recruits, the coaches. It's Notre Dame against the world, especially with this schedule. It's Notre Dame versus the world. And I want to see those players represent that. I've said it before and I've said it again, folks. This game, more than anything, is going to tell us where Notre Dame's starting from. From way ahead of schedule, they can handle all their assignments on defense. The offense puts 40-something points up. All the way down to a cluster nightmare where we're pulling out our hair like last second half against Navy, just praying the clock runs out, we win the game. That's what this first game's going to tell you this year, where Notre Dame's at as far as having this all together. Okay, from way ahead of schedule to a cluster. And that's going to be very, very informative. So that's what I got you guys. 
Number one, get off to a fast start. Number two, do the basics well. Number three, on D, be where you're supposed to be. Number four, on offense, take what you want. When they adjust, take what they give. And number five, I need a Notre Dame versus the world attitude by everybody involved. Fans, players, coaches, recruits, their moms, everybody. It's us versus the damn world. Okay? Screw everybody. Let's go win these games and shut everybody up. This is going to be exciting. And oh, don't forget, one minute after that game, we're going live. I'm taking your calls. We're going balls to the walls. Let me know what you think.